I get her number, tell her I'll call her sometime. <clears throat> a few weeks later, me and Jinx are doing mushrooms. We're driving around Pontiac, tripping balls, trying to holler at bitches, but none of these chicks are messing with us because we're a little too fucked up. We're coming down and we're sitting on the truck looking up at the stars, talking about the universe and the meaning of life. Jinx is like, I need some pussy. Shit, me too, you got anyone? Just some girls we saw earlier. We're gonna try to fuck these little hood rats that live in the nose. But we had to leave because Jinx's hands had turned into pyramids and started spinning. <laughs> then I remember Kit. Hey, I got somebody we can call. And she got a sister. How she looked? Like TLC. Uh. <laughs> we're at the payphone, I call her. We're at the payphone, I call her. Say we're coming over. Her mom's gotta get her mom's gotta give me directions because Kit doesn't know how to get to her own house. <laughs> I tell her, make sure her sister's awake. She says, okay. We get lost. It takes us an hour to get there. It's 1 a.m. by the time we show up. Kip comes to the door in a prom dress, a pink velvet gown with one shoulder st strap and sequins along the sides. On her feet are house shoes. She's alone. I say, where's your sister? She upstairs. We'll go get her. She busy. Doing what? Sleep. <laughs> Tough break for Jinx. <laughs> Being the wingman, sometimes you hit the jackpot and sometimes you crap out. There's been many a time I had to babysit some gorilla looking bitch while Jinx got a blowjob. So he's gonna have he's gonna be riding this one out on the love seat solo. She puts in a movie in a VCR. June, have you ever seen Friday? I love Friday. Yeah, let's watch that shit. She's crouching in front of the television trying to get it to work. On TVs back in the day, you had to have it on channel three to play movies. She keeps pr she keeps pressing channel three zero, static three zero, static three zero, static. Finally, I'm like, hey babe, you gotta put an O and a three for the picture zero three. She says, nah, I do this all the time. <laughs> she starts flicking one channel at a time through the dial. She gets all the way up to channel 80, gets frustrated, and presses 3-0 again. <laughs> Jinx is like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I say, Kit. Kit. Hey, Kit. What? Man, fuck that movie. Just come over here and kick it with me. She stands, TV still on, snow on the screen, sound buzzing, and sits next to me. I say, girl, we've been here for like 15 minutes. I ain't seen you forever. Ain't you gonna give me a kiss? She looks at me and says, nah, I'm gonna play my keyboard. <laughs> she reaches up underneath the couch and pulls out a Casio, hits the demonstration beat and pretends like she's playing. She's staring at us, smiling the whole time, moving her fingers along the keys. I'm good at it, dude. I'm good at the keyboard. <laughs> Jinx is staring at me like, what the fuck? I won't even look at I won't even look at her. Yeah, you're great. Y'all wanna see my gerbil? Jinx is like, no, I don't, don't want to see your gerbil. I'm scared of gerbils. Don't be scared of gerbils. I have a nice gerbil. No, I'm good. Don't bring out no gerbils. She drops the Casio song still playing, goes in the kitchen, comes back with a gerbil, and tosses it on Jinx's lap. See, it's a nice gerbil. Don't be scared. It lands on him and runs up his body. Jinx is hollering. He jumps off the back of the love seat. The gerbil goes flying and scampers across the carpet and under a chair. Kits on her hands and knees trying to fish it out. Jink half, half mouse, half whispers, dog, this bitch is crazy. Let's get the fuck going. I whisper back, hold up, man, I'm trying to fuck. Dude, man, come on. He gives me this real disappointed dad look and just shakes his head. Yeah, it's one in the morning, I'm trying to fuck a retarded girl who's wearing house shoes and a prime dress trying to catch a German. So? I bet that ass ain't retarded. And I ain't say shit to him when he fucked the cripple. I say, kid, let's go in the kitchen. 
I think the gerbil ran in there. I get her to follow me, and that's where I put the moves on her, in the kitchen, in the dark. I'm kissing on her, and she keeps talking about that fucking gerbil. <laughs> I'm rubbing her titties and it's gerbil, gerbil, gerbil. <laughs> I'm hiking up her dress and she's like, Jude, what are you doing? And I put my hand down where down her drawers and she's saying, Jude, that feels funny, Jude, that feels funny. And I'm like, hold up, I got something for you. I take my dick out. I'm touching her pussy and it's as dry as the desert. <laughs> then it hits me. Usually when I do my moves, their pussies are pretty wet by now and her shit is not wet at all. As a matter of fact, it's probably the driest vagina I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> Maybe the experts are right. Maybe she's all the way retarded. <laughs> like, like retarded, retarded. <laughs> I place my penis back in my trousers, <laughs> pull her dress back down, and excuse myself. There's a gerbil in this home that needs finding, and I better leave her to it. <laughs> We make our way out, and she stays in the kitchen looking for her pet in the dark. Jinx is clowning. I'm just shaking my head, speechless. And when TLC's Creep comes on the radio, Jinx turns it all the way up. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I want to thank everybody for coming.